You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey folks, welcome back to another Clone Wars Thursday throwback. I thought we'd uh, take a look at a different version of Captain Rex. Now I have pretty sure I've done a video on this before, um, somewhere in the last 15 years. <laughs> it's uh, It's been a while. I did do, I do remember a couple of years ago, I did a bit of a Captain Rex overview of all the different figures of Captain Rex. Um, and that video, interestingly, still gets the occasional comments. Just one of those videos that seems to... Uh, Seems to just do what it needs to do online, and uh, gets a, still gets a little bit of traction. Obviously, the the uh, popularity of Captain Rex is, you know, he still reigns supreme. He is the second best clone trooper there are. There is after after Jesse. Well, I might be a little bit biased there, but yeah. Anyway, given that I did a video on Thysen from the episode season one or two episode where they go to Auto Plutonia. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen that episode. I thought we'd stick with the theme and go with uh, Captain Rex in cold weather gear. Now, I don't think we saw this again, this design again, um, at all during the Clone Wars, but I wanted to highlight it because it definitely stands out um, just being just being a little different. Um, I really love this design. Uh, I think... As well, it's very similar to the Flame Trooper. The Flamethrower Trooper. Let me see if I can grab him. So you can sort of see there. It's virtually the same sculpt. You know what? It actually is. They're pretty much the same same fig, obviously. The Flamethrower Trooper came later, so he got some soft goods there. Whereas Rex has got the, uh, the sort of harder plastic. It's still a soft plastic, but he's got his holsters moulded into that. And yeah, the rest of the figure is the same. Which again, not not a terrible thing. You know, it's good. You know, it works. You know, the the Republic was able to use both sets of armor for different, different, you know, different things. So works out well. Let me push him away. But yeah, it's just it's cool. It was cool to see Captain Rex. And even looking back now, we've seen we're so familiar with Rex in Phase One and Phase Two. Um, and yeah, just to go back and take a look at a different version of Captain Rex is really cool. Um, yeah, I do love the sort of weathering and detail on this figure. I think it still holds up really well. So you can see you got the trademark T visor with the J guys on top of the on the forehead there. Doesn't hold his blasters overly well. The backpack is removable. I think I may have. No, I don't think I have glued it on, but it's. I may have it starting to loosen up a little bit. So I'm just going to leave that there. Maybe it was falling off. I tend to do that occasionally if a. Uh, Backpack doesn't like to stay put. I tend to just glue them on if I don't intend on taking them off ever. There was a another clone trooper, a 501st clone trooper that was released with the Bark Speeder. It's a little bit more simple in its paint applications. I never did get that one, unfortunately. Yeah, he's got his little blaster pistol there. A little bit of blue tack stuck on that one. Not a problem there. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't hold on to them super well. The fingers are a little bit a little bit dainty. Particularly if you want to have him with his trademark two two blaster pistols. I think if you had him with a with a longer rifle he might hold it a little better. But yeah, I'll keep that one in the holster, that's fine. But it did suffer with a couple of little elements. I think I've actually glued the top part of the helmet, but that was popping off quite a lot. 
and also these arm holsters, this sorry, arm holsters, shoulder pauldrons. They're just a little pegged in there. They don't sort of stay. So if you do tend to articulate a little bit, you know, they do pop out and, uh, you know, particularly like this, this figure and the flame trooper. If you do find them secondhand, sometimes they're missing those. So if you are on the hunt for, for one of these, you know, you, you could probably find something to replicate it, but it is a bummer that those were so easily lost. But I do love the uh, the grey of the of the jumpsuit underneath. Sort of a bit of a a white a white brush over the top just to give it that sort of simulation of snow and ice and same with the boots, you know, they just sort of weathered up a little bit. Would love to see a you know realistic interpretation of this this version of Captain Rex. In either, um, you know, TVC or Black Series, I think. I think a six-inch one would be fantastic. But I'd love to see, I'd love to see, see the Black Series get a fresh, a fresh Phase Two or Phase One Rex, as well. Just do a Rex Three pack. Put all the Rexes out. <laughs> so yeah, articulation-wise, do a swivel on the head. You head you can make him look down quite a bit. I'm not sure how far up it will go, just because of the hindrance of the uh, backpack there. But he's got the hinges in the shoulders, got hinges in the elbows, swivels at the wrists. Not too much movement, more so just a swivel there at the waist. Swivels at the hips and hinges at the knees. No ankle articulation. But yeah, definitely an underrated version of Captain Rex. I don't think this one gets spoken about enough. You know, we might do we might do some more Rexies for the next few weeks. The next couple of weeks, there are two other Rex figures I have in the Clone Wars, so we may very well go ahead and. Talk about those ones in the next couple of weeks. Let's make the rest of rest of July about Rex for Clone Wars Thursday throwbacks. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this one, guys. Again, no no packaging, no card or anything. This one, pretty sure I got it loose. Um, I don't recall honestly. Sometimes I don't don't have that recollection these days. This sort of as the years slip by, it's harder to remember where we buy all these things. The ones that were gifts I tend to remember more, but even then some of those are sort of slipping me by these days. But yeah, fantastic version of Rex. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. I do Clone Wars Thursday throwback every single week, almost every single week. Again, I do appreciate you coming and hanging out and checking it out. It's cool to go back and look at some of these older figures. They don't feel like they should be old, but sadly the years are passing and yeah, these figures go deeper into history. So we'll see you next week. Till then, may the force be with you always.